Hello everyone and welcome back to the Animal Sciences channel. In this video, we will learn how to explore data sets in R. The codes and data used in this video can be downloaded using the links in the description. First, we will load data using read.csv function and store it into sheep object. Next, we will use dim function to get the dimensions of this data so that this data has 200 rows and 9 columns. Next, we can use the head function to see the observations in first 6 rows of data. So these are the first 6 rows of data. Similarly, you can also see the last 6 rows of data by using tail function. We can get the names of the variables in data by using name function. So these are the names of variables in our data. We can use the str function to know the structure of data. Here the first column shows the names of variables. The second column shows the type of variable and next to it are few observations within each variable. We can also view this data like an excel spreadsheet using view function. So here the data looks much nicer and you can visualize each value within this data set. The columns represent variables which are like season of birth shown here as season and other variables which we will discuss later on. If you want to select a particular variable within the data set, you have to use a dollar sign. Let's say if we want to check the class of season variable, then we will type class and within this function we will mention sheep, dollar sign and season. This function will let R know that you are only interested in the class of season variable. It shows character. We can also see all the possible values within season variable using unique function. So there are four values like autumn, spring, winter, summer stored in this variable. We can also get the frequencies or the numbers of times each of these observations appeared within this season variable using table function. So we can see here there are 31 observations for autumn, 91 for spring and so on. Next we will see how we can change a character variable to a factor variable. As you have seen the class of season variable was character but for analysis we need it to be a factor. We use as dot factor function to change the type of a variable from character to a factor. So in this code, we mentioned that within sheep data, the column season should be stored as factor. Now you can confirm the category of season variable through class function. We can also get the summary of a numeric variable using summary function. So let's get summary of birth weight stored as BWT column in this data. So here you can see the summary of birth weight variable. Similarly, we can get summary of complete data set with summary function. So this time we will get summary of sheep data. So here you can see it shows summary of each variable within this data. We can also use describe function of psych package to get summary of data or summary of a specific variable within data. So you can use this code to install psych package and get summary of birth weight using describe function. Similarly, you can plot a histogram of birth weight using hist function. So these were some functions within R which can be used to explore data. Thank you for watching this video, please like and share it and subscribe to this channel.